Their sound has gone out into all lands and their message to the ends of the world. Good morning, I'm Deacon Marsha Holmes and I'd like to welcome you this morning to morning prayer at Christ Episcopal Church on this fourth day of Christmas. So Merry Christmas to you. Before we get started, just a couple of things, housekeeping. Um, the Psalm this morning, the appointed Psalm is Psalm 98. And if you're following along in your prayer books, you can find that on page 727. And the reading I'll be using this morning is from John chapter 13, verses 20 through 35. So if you'd like to um, follow along with us in our prayer books, we will begin on page 80. And um, you may also follow along on BCP online um, if you prefer to follow online. And, and if not either of those, just follow along with us and participate in, in the areas that you, um, that you know, some of the prayers. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Turning to page 82 this morning, we will say together the Jubilate. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us. And we are his, we are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter in his gates with thanksgiving, go into his courts with praise, give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The Lord has shown forth his glory. Come, let us adore him. Turning to page 727, if you're using your prayer books, let us say together Psalm 98. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. With his right hand and his holy arm, he has won for himself the victory. The Lord has made known his victory. His righteousness has he openly shown in the sight of the nations. He remembers his mercy and faithfulness to the house of Israel. And all the ends of the earth have seen the victory of our God. Shout with joy to the Lord, all you lands. Lift up your voice, rejoice and sing. Sing to the Lord with a harp, with a harp and the voice of song, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Shout with joy before the King, the Lord. Let the sea make a noise and all that is in it. The lands and those who dwell with therein. Let the rivers clap their hands and let the hills ring out with joy before the Lord when he comes to judge the earth. In righteousness shall he judge the world and the peoples with equity. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Now, um, if you're Following along with your Bibles, turning to John 13, verses 20 through 35. Very truly, I tell you, whoever receives one whom I send receives me, and whoever receives me receives him who sent me. After saying this, Jesus was troubled in spirit and declared, very truly, I tell you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another, uncertain of whom he was speaking. One of his disciples, the one whom Jesus loved, was reclining next to him. Simon Peter therefore motioned to him 
to ask Jesus of whom he was speaking. So while reclining next to Jesus, he asked him, Lord, who is it? Jesus answered, it is the one to whom I give this piece of bread when I have dipped it in the dish. So when he had dipped the piece of bread, he gave it to Judas, son of Simon Iscariot. After he received the piece of bread, Satan entered into him. Jesus said to him, do quickly what you are going to do. No one at the table knew why he said this to him. So he thought that because Judas had the common purse, Jesus was telling him, buy what we need for the festival or that he should give something to the poor. So after receiving the piece of bread, he immediately went out. It was night. When he had gone out, Jesus said, now the son of man has been glorified and God has been glorified in him. If God has been glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself and will glorify him at once. Little children, I am with you only a little longer. You will look for me. And as I said to the Jews, so now I say to you, where I am going, you cannot come. I give you a new commandment that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also should love one another. By this, everyone knew that you are my disciples. If you have love for one another. Here ends the reading. Now turning to page 95, let us say together, Canticle uh, 21, you are God. You are God, we praise you. You are the Lord, we acclaim you. You are the eternal Father. All creation worships you. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, cherubim and seraphim, sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you. Father, of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all worship, and the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal God of the Father, the, the eternal Son of the Father. When you became man to set us free, you did not shun the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. Turning to page 96, let us reaffirm our faith with the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, 
and the life everlasting. Amen. Now turning to page 97, we will continue with the prayers. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father in, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Continuing with suffrage B, let us say responsively, save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern them and uphold them now and always. Day by day, we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy upon us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we will never hope in vain. Colic for the day, shed upon your church, O Lord, the brightness of your light, that we, being illumined by the teaching of your apostle and evangelist John, may also walk in the light of your truth, that at length we may attain to the fullness of eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A colic for the renewal of life on page 99. O oh God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into morning, drive far from us all wrong desires, incline our hearts to keep your law, and guide our feet into the way of peace, that, having done your will with cheerfulness while it was day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A prayer for mission on page 100. O oh God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold. Pour out your spirit upon all flesh and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now let us take a few moments and offer our own intercessions and prayers and thanksgivings to God. Lord, we ask that you would continue to guide our paths Continue to be with each of us and help us, Lord, to, to follow the path that you have given to us. Lord, we ask blessings on those who have been um, victims of violence these last few days. Um, bless those in Nashville. Um, those who have face, are facing um, the loss of jobs and benefits due to this pandemic. And Lord, we ask you to bless those who've been from a health perspective affected by this virus and this pandemic. Be with all those healthcare workers and frontline workers who are there to support your people. Lord, bless Christ Church and all places of worship around the world. And bless, Lord, the nations of the world. Amen. Continuing on page 101, let us um, say together the great thanksgiving, the general, I'm sorry, the general thanksgiving. 
Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for, your crea for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all, for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory throughout all ages. Almighty God, you have given us grace that at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world the knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Thank you for joining me this morning, and I wish you a continued blessed Christmas season and a wonderful week. Thank you. See you soon. Bye-bye.